Hello and welcome to Forward Escape the Fold. This is a game that someone wanted me to play, and now here I am, playing it. Uh, it's actually someone whose friend made this game, and they had sent me a key and everything, asking me if I wanted to check it out. Uh, I decided to check it out, and actually enjoyed it so much that I felt like recording some of it, so that's what I'm doing. I've actually recorded a couple episodes already, but my shadow play decided that it didn't want to record anything past the main menu, this screen right here, so I wasted an hour and 20 minutes of my life. So, that's the life of a YouTuber, right there. Um, anyway, so we're doing this again. I'm gonna be playing uh, through, uh, it's, a, it's an indie game, it's a, um, a what you call it, a roguelike. So, you know, it's not, you know, you, it's, it's, it's a new run every single time anyway, so it's not like I lost anything specifically. I am gonna be starting on a new uh, run though. So I've currently got this Mr. Spawn on 17% of the, like, I've unlocked 17% of things essentially. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a new one, um, and basically show you guys, uh, from, from the start how this works. Um, so yes, it's a very simple game, uh, in terms of how, like, controls are. You literally just use your mouse, and let's just jump into it so I can explain it to you. I'm not gonna do the tutorial, because I will explain the game to you myself. So we have a character, uh, our goal is to get to the end, it's, it's similar to Slade Aspire in that regard, uh, without dying, basically you just don't want to die. So we have Edward, even the best warriors must die, however this knight is the only one to have come back from such a fate. He has an ability, which is the Pillar of Fire, which inflicts two damage to the visible enemies. This just doesn't tell you anything right now because you don't know how the game works yet, uh, but I'll get to that. He also has a item, an apple, which heals him by 6 HP when starting a level. So you have basically run through 13 different levels and you get um, yeah, different rewards, you get different items. You can end up with like dozens of items by the end of a run, essentially. Uh, so yeah, let's start a game and I will explain to you how this works. It's very simple, but it is strategic as well, which is why it's obviously a game that's perfect for me. Disgusting Vile. An elderly woman appears on your way and offers you a drink. You inspect Disgusting Vile and de decide to refuse it politely. The woman in anger transforms herself into a abominable creature and tells you, Death is the gift I offer you. I'm coming to get you. Right, so here we are. This is the entirety of the game, right here. It's a, You have cards in front of you, this is your character, and essentially you're just moving forward. It, it is in the name of the game, to be fair. It's called Forward, Escape the Fold. Um, so yes, basically, there's three rows. And uh, if I go to the middle path, or well, from here I can go either in, into any direction, essentially. If I go to this one, it's difficult to explain this right now. Well, actually, let me just um, show you. I'm gonna move forward and then the other ones disappear. I'm gonna grab the shield now. And now, if I were to go here, for example, attack this enemy, um, he will do four, four damage to me. Uh, the number in the top left is essentially what happens. So if I get this, I get two shield. If I go here, I take three damage. I also would take two damage from this guy attacking me. My point being though, if I go to the left, I cannot reach the outer right one anymore. I can only go forward and diagonal. Um, so you essentially have to choose a path forward uh, that will benefit you. If I were, like, you can see there's a little arrow here. So if I were to jump on this tile, this enemy will actually attack me as well. There's uh, different bonuses you get for either attacking or defending, essentially. The number here, again, it just is how much damage they do to me, essentially. They always die. If you jump on them, they die. If they attack you, they die. It doesn't matter. It's just how much damage they do to you. So this guy were to do three damage to me, and then this guy would do two damage to me. Um... If I attack this guy, I gain skulls, and skulls will get benefits from different items and stuff that I'll get over the course of this as well. Uh, if I just get attacked by the enemy, then they will die, and then instead of the enemy being here, there will be an item instead that I can then choose to pick up if I so desire. Um, there's bonuses for taking damage uh, in general, just because it, it's a score-based game, essentially. The higher they score, the higher you are in the leaderboards, but I don't really care about that too much. I want to just have a good run initially, so I can show you guys how this works. So for now, let's just go forward and grab the shield. So if we're gonna jump on this healing potion, we're gonna get attacked by this guy. If I go on any of the other ones, obviously poison, uh, it basically deals, It's it, there's a little two, so it, it gives you poison for two turns, which means you take one damage every time you move forward for two turns, essentially. So it'll do two damage in the end. Healing potion does nothing because we're at full health. If I were to take attack this guy, we just lose two HP. We do gain two skulls, which currently does nothing, but later on will do. Uh, and then we're going to have to deal with this guy anyway. So let's just move forward. Let's take as little damage as possible. So we're just going to take the two from that guy attacking us. We're just going to grab the gold that he dropped from the loot. <laughs> Sorry. So now again, if we were to get the healing potion, we're already full health. So this is pointless. And then we would just take one damage from this uh, enemy here. Give me one second. My dog is being annoying. 
Um, so yeah, basically we, we have no reason to take any more damage right now. So we're just going to go grab the gold. And if, again, if we go here, we get attacked by this guy. So we're going to avoid that by just jumping over here. Or we can attack this guy and get some gold coins. We do want to get our ability though. So we get mana points or a mana potion if we go here. We also only get attacked by a single one damage rather than five damage from here. So we're going to move this way. We grab the mana potion. We get attacked by that guy. We also get blindness. So that's something where you can you cannot see the numbers anymore. I should have paid more attention before I jumped on him because I could have now known already what all these numbers were. But it's only for one turn. So I'm just going to grab the mana again, which was free apparently because now I can use my ability and now I can see everything again. So I can go to the uh, shield. I would obviously gain one, but then take four. So I'm a net loss of three. I can also go here instead and take only two damage, but I gain two blindness again. But that's okay because we can now see this is four gold and then this is four damage. So we're going to take two damage here and then four damage there. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. So we are blind, but it doesn't matter. We already know the numbers. And now we have a choice. We can get, get some healing and then some gold. We don't really want to take damage right now. We're not super healthy. By the end, by the time we get to the end, which I think we're pretty near, there's going to be a boss. Yeah, there he is. And we need, as mu we need enough health to survive their damage, which is always quite high. So we're going to grab that final bit of shield. We're down to 5 HP. That's okay. We're going to get plus one max from the heart, which you get at the end of every major level. Um, and then we get a new reward as well. So first of all, um, you remember... We have the apple, so when we get to the next level, essentially, we um, we instantly recover 6 HP, so we're going to be on 12, which is not too bad. We can also gain 3 gold coins when we start a level. We can gain, uh, as long as you have stealth, gives minus 1 to enemy cards, does not apply to bosses, so enemies will do 1 less damage, essentially. But we have to have stealth for this, and we currently have no way of gaining stealth. Uh, or chests give us 3 extra gold coins. Chests, uh, you, you get them sometimes, but I think this is probably the more consistently okay. They're all pretty met, to be honest, but getting an extra free gold every time we get to a new level is pretty solid. Unreal Gift. A young girl approaches without saying a word. She stops in front of you and then trusts you with something. She then leaves just as quickly. Sorry, my dog is on my lap. Just as quickly as she arrived. You're surprised, but accept her gift wholeheartedly. Was it real? Oh, we got the spear. It's not bad. When you attack an enemy, it deals equal damage to the one behind them, which is pretty solid. So we're going to just get that for free. A nice little gift. Barking. A rotten wooden door blocks your way. As you push it open, you hear the frenzied barking of a gigantic dog. Speaking of, Vito, can you just not be like this? You want to turn around, but behind you, monsters are chasing you. On I will crush you. Cool. Um, right, so we're not full health. We are up to 12 again. I see a lovely healing potion there, a shield there. So we see a pretty solid path for starters. We're going to take two damage when we go here. Um, so basically a, a net gain of two, but that's okay. Um, even if I were to grab this mana potion, we would still have to deal with this anyway. So, And we already have the ability ready, so we don't have really have a reason to uh, to do that. So let's move forward. More shield. Um, so now we have the option since... I could use the ability and then grab the mana potion to instantly gain some mana back again so I can cast it again. I could also just take the gold, take the two damage, which is not really a big deal. Don't really need, yeah, let's just, I'll take the damage, that's fine. And we'll take that four gold there. We're full, actually we're not full health, we could use one extra health. Do I care about one health or two gold? I think I'll just take the health, to be honest. There's one, there's more gold up here anyway, so we'll grab that free gold. Take free damage, he dropped some mana. So now, you know what, I'm going to use the ability. It's not super necessary or anything, but eh, it's like, if we get the mana back, then otherwise we would have straight up wasted that opportunity, essentially. Um, let's see, let's grab that, and then the gold. And then we're going to move forward, we're going to take basically one damage and gain shield, so not too bad. Free gold to take one damage. Do I find that valuable? There's a merchant chest up there, so I think I will actually take that one damage to get some more gold. And I need more gold. There's the boss. We're on 13. We're going to get the 14 and possibly something else in here as well. We can get a heart, which is a, a maximum health. Not bad. Stealth cloak. When you attack an enemy, you gain stealth times two. So now we have we would have a way to gain stealth. And then the monster guts. So this is a corrupted item. You can see by the little uh, border being different, essentially. You don't get a reward at the end of all future levels. So this is just something that's bad. You don't really want to get this. It actually costs money too. But there are also uh, items that you can get which will 
uh, actually uh, g give you bonuses for having corrupted items. So you kind of have this like balance of do I want to go corrupted or not, essentially. Uh, you can buy multiple items, by the way, so I'm tempted to buy both of these. Currently, we have, yeah, we have a reason to attack things already because of the spear. So when we attack something, basically, if you don't move in front of it, then uh, you can attack it diagonally, essentially, you, you will attack the enemy. Uh, and then it deals the same amount of damage that they have, essentially the same amount of health to the enemy behind it. Um, so we have a reason to attack things, and we would also gain a bonus of getting two stealth. So when you have stealth, uh, enemies can no longer attack you. So you can jump in front of an enemy and it doesn't do anything to you. I think I definitely want to get the maximum HP, and then I'll also buy that. And then we're basically broke, but that's fine. Right, and then we're going to gain that extra HP, get attacked, and there you go. Blue Horn. This is pretty decent so this is a, an interesting item in that um it wants you to have as many skulls as uh, possible essentially um every 10 skulls you have you gain one extra hp all right sorry about that i moved uh, vito out of the room because he was being very annoying uh, so every 10 skulls you have you gain one extra hp so it's essentially it's the sa same as the apple that we have except um it's based on how many skulls you have uh, which is solid if you don't plan on spending your skulls, but there are stores that take skulls as payment rather than gold coins, and there's also items that will actually uh, benefit having skulls. So whenever you attack an enemy, you gain skulls equal to their number on the top left. So if it says free and you attack it, like you don't get attacked by it, but you're the one attacking it, you gain free skulls. So it's pretty easy to get skulls quickly, but there's also items that, for example, whenever you pick up a shield card, you deal damage equal to your skulls to all enemies on the screen and that's like not even that rare of a card i've had that in two runs now and it's really insane because you just instantly just blow up the board every single time you pick up a shield um card essentially it does consume all your skulls but again it's super easy to gain those skulls back again uh but this is still pretty good we also have red beetle gives plus one to healing potion cards for each corrupted item in your inventory we currently have no uh corrupted items but there you go that's a thing a reason to buy corrupted items uh, and the next enemy you attack will not inflict any damage, which is just a one-time thing. I'm going to take the blue horn. Even if I do end up using my skulls, then eh, it's okay. But for now, this is not going to do anything. Welcome to Gatenburg. The town of Gatenburg is on the horizon. The hospitality of the inhabitants of this town is known in all the regions. You go there for to take a well-deserved rest. This is unfortunate because this is a um, place where there's lots of uh, stores that we can go to, but we have no money left. Um, so we have a choice here. If I go to the tavern, I cannot go to the alchemist store because we can only go here. We cannot, can't go there. So I think I'm going to go for the store. Uh, we can, uh, we can afford the monster paw, which is a corrupted item. Adds two poison cards in all future levels. Poison can actually be beneficial to, the, to you as well, but yeah, I have no reason to buy this. Gives plus one to healing potion cards and minus one to shield cards. Nah, I can't afford it anyway, but randomly replace all shield cards with healing potions, mana potion, or gold coin. I'm good. Let's check out the alchemist store as well. Got the book of mana. Increase the chance that the enemies loot as a mana potion. You can buy some mana or some health. You know what? I'll buy the health. Why not? We have the money for it. I can't get to the forge, but I could go to the jewelry store. But then I can't do the food market. But I think I will. Just to check it out. Why not? I can't afford anything anyway. But it's nice to see more items. Because I don't know all of them yet. Good stuff. Sorry, I could have paid more attention, but I've seen all those before. I know you guys haven't, but you can always pause the video. Dark Forest. The deeper you go into the dark the dark forest, the more numerous and gigantic are the spider webs. The disturbing noises you hear leave no doubt. You're ready to fight. I will devour you. Good. Right, if we pick up the shield, we then even take four damage anyway. But this is, I can show you it right now. We're going to gain four skulls because this guy has a four in there. So this now means that with this item that we just picked up, the blue horn, at the start of the next level, if we still have ten skulls anyway, we gain one health. Um, unfortunately, we're also, oh no, we gained stealth. Well, this is actually not very helpful right now. So because we gained stealth, we don't get attacked by the enemy that would normally jump on us. But there's no better solution here, really. Uh, because this is the lowest number, so I think we're just going to take this one. Um, and we could either heal for four or gain a shield for two. I think I'm going to go healing potion, gold coins, healing. Although that would give me... Eh, it would give me... It would waste a little bit of healing, but that's okay. Again, because of the stealth, we don't get attacked. This enemy has poison as well, so it does two damage and then also two poison. So essentially it's four damage. We also have a powerless here, which means you can't use your ability. But we haven't got the mana right now anyway, so I don't really care. But uh, we're going to avoid that for now. 
Uh, then we've got blindness, which I think we already saw. So I could jump here. We would then take three damage, so it's a net loss of three. Or I could just jump on this guy and take two only. Which I think makes more sense, to be honest. Plus we get skulls from attacking something rather than um, surviving. I should have looked at the numbers, though. We are blind for two turns, so I don't know which is the better shield. But this one's got an enemy behind it, so I imagine I'm just going to jump on this one here. Could go for the mana. Oof, we've got lots of stuff here. I think we're going to do mana. And then because of our weapon, the spear, when I attack an enemy, it deals damage equal to the enemy behind it. So I could jump on this one, deal free damage to... I'll take free damage, of course, but then this one takes free as well, so it only deals two damage in return to me. Um, if I go for the chest, we're going to get... I take in the same amount of damage. Eh, I don't know. I think I'd rather attack. Actually, if I attack, I gain stealth, but I think I still get attacked anyway. Oh, right. oh no, I don't. That's interesting. I, that's, that's good testing right there. I wasn't sure how that would work. Uh, again here, I could do this, take 5 damage, and then this thing would only do 1 damage. But there's not really any point in taking extra damage if we don't have to. So I think I'm going to go ahead and... Um, if I attack this thing, then I can sneak past stuff here. I have stealth for 3 turns. I have to attack something at some point, though. This is actually a little painful, but... Oh, this is not. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Then we attack this guy. The gun behind, one behind it dies. However, then we're gonna jump in poison later on. If I just take this one, I take five damage, but at least I get a chest which might have something good in it. So this way, I would take le one less damage, but I take more from the poison in the end. There's a healing potion there. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna take the five shield. Thank you very much. So then we got that. Let's survive. The an extra one max health. If you can get out of blue horn, you can stack these, by the way. So this would currently give me... It already gives me two, because I have 26 calls. If I get another one, it would give me four. And this is just going to keep stacking. Having said that, all the runs I've done so far, I end up with kind of a lot of armor. So maximum... Or getting health back usually doesn't matter. Except for with poison, because poison goes through armor. Uh, it's annoying, like, I'm I'm trying to talk to you guys, or tell you guys all the, the nuances of the game and all the rules of the game, but I've, like, I just recorded this earlier, and I I already did all of that, and now I'm trying to, like, oh, shit, did I already talk about this or no? And it's annoying. Uh, this thing kind of sucks. Um, you gain two armor durability if you have, don't have armor whenever you pick up gold coins or you get gold coins, but I'm, like I said, most of the time you have a lot of uh, armor, so it's kind of eh. Uh, you receive five gold coins and blindness when starting a level. So this is another one of those things that gives you stuff when at the start of the level. But blindness is really bad at the start of the level because you don't know what is anywhere yet. Normally, if you attack an enemy or get attacked by an en enemy that has blindness, you can at least look ahead before you do that, and you'll know the numbers like you can memorize them. But if you do it, if you get blindness at the start of a level, you just have no idea what anything is, and that would really suck. So I'm gonna stack the blue horn so I get more HP back. So I'm gonna gain back like currently 10 HP at the beginning of a level. Terrifying hissing. As you enter a dark cave, you hear a strange and terrifying hissing sounds. As you approach the source of the noise, you come face to face with a gigantic snake. You have no choice. It's time to attack. Die, says the snake. Alright. Um, I don't really want to have... This is going to do six damage, basically. We're just going to go straight forward. We need some money anyway, so that's all fine. Uh, I kind of want the shield, but that means I'd take 4 damage, so that seems a bit useless. I'm just going to keep jumping on the gold for now, because we're full HP. Okay, so now if we were to jump forward, we get 6. I could just kill something instead, which also gives me stealth. Huh. Um, do I want to attack this one? If I do this, I lock myself into getting... Like, I would then, I would then have to either attack this thing... Or go forward, and if I attack, and then I have to attack this one, so we end up, or that one, which means we end up taking a lot of damage. Let's just do six here, uh, and then we're gonna get the health back immediately. Mana potion, so our ability is ready again as well. Shield's nice. Um, so let's see, if I go forward, I get attacked by this guy, which gives me two gold coins and, of course, another reward. Again, I get bonuses though for getting high skulls because it means. I get to get more healing from the blue horn. So if I kill this thing, I'm going to be down to 14. If I jump here, I have stealth, so I wouldn't get attacked by it, but I, I could then attack that one instead. So basically, I would save myself a little bit of health, because if I go this way, I get attacked by it, and then I... I guess it ends up being the same. Although I would... 
gain two gold coins, but I think I'd rather have the skull. So let's go and attack this thing. We gain stealth. We go here. Now, this thing isn't a problem because we have that um, spear. So if I attack it, that one will, uh, will take a little bit of damage. So we only do take two damage from it. I have my ability ready again as well, so I could just use that. But I don't know if I need to, to be honest. I'm going to take that. Uh, I'm actually going to do this ability here because that guy would have otherwise done a, quite a bit of a, a lot of damage because of the the poison. Oh, we still have... Oh, we had stealth, so we didn't get attacked by it, but there's no other way to go, so... I'm going to go forward. Now, here's the chest of the dead. So this will allow me to buy items uh, for skulls, which, again, we don't really want to spend our skulls because we get bonuses from it, but we have quite a few of them, and it's worth having a look at least. I don't want to go into the poison and all these enemies here anyway, so I may as well go this way. And have a look at what there is. We gain one armor durability prior to an enemy attack. Uh, we gain two armor durability from chests or gives my oh this is re this is pretty solid so this just straight up makes all enemies minus one. Um, so we just take a lot less damage. Which is good but again is it worth 20 skulls? Yeah I think it would be actually. Let's just take that. You can buy multiple items but no reason to do so right now. Um, I think we're just gonna take the five from this guy. Okay, so now we got a sword. Swords do damage, uh, well, it says it, whatever the number is to all enemies on the screen. There's only one right now, but yeah, this would straight up kill this thing. I could also gain a free shield, but then I would take, I would basically lose one health overall, where if I take this one up, he just dies, and I get the loot. Alright, and then we get the poison. Like that, so we're all good. Got another poison damage coming in as well, but. Bronze ticket adds one merchant chest card in all future levels. The yellow stone, where your gold total was even, reduces the price of purchases by five gold or an axe all mana potion cards inflict two damage to nearby enemies so basically um all around them i think that's what that means i had i had this discussion when i saw it last because I, I don't quite know what orthogonal means i know diagonal is like that or well like that and that but i'm assuming uh, orthogonal is like to the sides like that uh anyway we don't really pick up mana potion cards all that often when our Gold totals even, stuff is reduced in price. I think I'll just add a merchant chest card in all future levels. Why not? We have 21 skulls, so we're going to gain two he uh, 10 health again in total. 6 plus 4. The carefree alchemist. Walking carefully, you see a strange man cutting herbs while singing. He turns around and cheerfully offers you some items to buy. Healing root. The next poison card you pick up will not apply poison. It's a one-time thing. Removes four potion cards in all future levels, so... This is again corrupted, so we don't really want that. Increase the chance that the enemy's loot is a mana potion card. This would have been good if I picked up the uh, the one that deals damage around it, but I don't really care about any of this trash. Dangerous road. The road you were taking until now has become too difficult to walk on. Whilst looking for another path, you were attacked by a horde of ghouls. I will crush you. Alright. Um... I think I want to try and avoid taking too much damage. If we go this way, we get attacked by that, and then we have to attack that or take the 7 from there. So I'm just going to go here. And then we're going to take the 5 here. Gain some more skulls. Have a look in the yield chest. We can get a full heal or me. When you buy a card, you get immunity times 2 or get 6 health, which is almost a full heal. I think we're just going to take a full heal, to be honest. Mead is pretty eh. Which then gives me the opportunity to get some money, shields, more shields. Another chest of the dead coming up. Uh, jump this way because I want to get poisoned. And then I don't really want to take that damage nor jump into poison. So let's have a look at this. Even if we don't want to buy anything, we just get out of here. This thing is insane. I kind of want to buy this. Uh, this replaces all healing potion cards of swords in all future levels. So basically... If it says, like, you heal for four, instead you deal four damage to all enemies on the screen. And it just gets really insane. This is one of those, like, really, really ridiculous cards. You heal one HP when receiving new status. When your armor runs out of durability, inflicts one damage to all visible enemies. Now, the thing is, usually, like I said, you have a lot of armor. Um, so not having too much healing is okay. The only problem is, like, if you take poison damage, it goes straight through armor. So you can actually end up taking damage that you cannot heal because you have no healing potions. But we regain health from Apple, from Bluehorn, and there's other ways to gain health as well. So I'm actually going to take the chance. We unfortunately do drop below uh, the skulls, below 10, so we don't actually currently get any healing, so we need to try and get some more. Um, 
So uh, yeah, so that's from future level. So we don't actually get the benefit from that right now. Let's grab the shield. Now we attack this thing. That one dies. Still gonna take seven. Rain, but we could have taken a poison instead. But I actually think this is okay because I want to get the skulls back up again. Mana potion will get me the quest. This is, or the, sorry, the, the ability, which is also just generally good anyway, because while it, it does two damage to all visible enemies, it actually also, of course, reduces that number. That's the whole point of it, right? So you take less damage when you actually do the attack. Um, or get attacked, of course. So I kind of want to check out the merchant chest. I do have quite a bit of money. I'm going to do this because I want to make sure I don't take as much damage right now. So yeah, let's just jump on the merchant chest. Oh, did we have stealth? I don't even get attacked. That's even better. Um, add three enemy cards in future levels. Get oh, this is a pretty interesting item. So this gives you protection, greed, and stealth times four when you pick up a corrupted item. So every time you pick up a corrupted item, this just like boosts you like crazy for a couple turns. We already have the spear, um, which it doesn't say it doesn't stack, but I, I guess yeah, I guess it, just, it would just do it twice then. I'm not sure. Either way, not too interested in buying anything. I'm not really planning on going corrupted right now, so. I think I'm okay with just um, leaving it as is. Uh, so if I go here, this one dies as well. That takes less damage than going for the dragon there. That gives us stealth, so we can pick up the two gold rather than the one. And then we can pick up the four shields. If I attack this thing, that one doesn't die. It only takes three damage, but we, we would have stealth, so it also wouldn't attack me. But I have no reason to attack this thing unless I want to get my score up, which I don't really want to do right now. I will get attacked here and I'll become powerless. That's okay. I'll take the I get full health, so no reason to do that. Um, okay. Guess we'll go here. Attack by that thing. I think I'll If I go here, I will take four. If I attack this thing, I gain five, but I gain the skull, so I get more healing later. So I don't need to do that. Will I survive, though? Yeah, I will. But it is a little painful. You receive free immunity when starting a new level. So this this actually currently uh, is okay because we don't have anything else. But there are because it uh, when you get immunity, it means you just you can't. I guess you're just immune. Uh, I I would imagine. <laughs> but you can't have any other status effects as long as you have this one. So currently, I don't think I have anything that gives me status effects at the start of a level. But there are a lot of cards that do. Um, so that could be good. This actually just gives us straight up free extra HP at the start of a level, which again works well with our build where we don't have healing potions anymore. Uh, and chests give me more gold. I think I'm just gonna pick the tomato. It's basically half an apple. The glittering chest you discover a cross on the ground. While digging, you find a golden chest filled with sparkling objects. You gain a maximum health or inflicts four damage to all visible enemies. How does that even work? There's no enemies right now. I'll just take the health. Thanks. Die! Damn you, die, suffer my ordeal. Your soul will be extinguished, I see it. Fair enough. All right, let's take the mana. So here you go, now we get all these sword things. So this is basically just like, it's insane. Um, it'll, it'll, um, basically these were normally health potions and now they're just swords and this is crazy. So this thing will just sort of kill like these two things and that one down to three. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to pick up the sword. So from now on, we're going to start becoming really strong. Again, there's a chest so we can pick up, or we can buy, use our skulls, but we kind of want to keep those. So let's just avoid it for now. Six. Boom! Fucking kill everything. Um, yeah, check out this again. The black helmet. You see protection times one after being attacked by an enemy. Heals you completely when you pick up a corrupted item. So there's another reason to pick up corrupted items. Another tomato. Yeah, fuck it. They stack. Why not? Plenty of gold. Could buy this epic one as well. Not terrible. Protection 1 just gives you 1 armor, so it's essentially a mitigating 1 damage. But it happens on the turn after, so essentially it's not mitigating 1 damage, it just gets you a health back, essentially. We have quite a bit of gold, but I don't know if I really want to spend it on this. It's not that good. Um, right, so we go on a sword. Basically everything here is almost dead. Take a lot less damage than we would have otherwise done. Um... I'm gonna use it just because I can pick up the mana immediately. Although, to be fair, I'd rather probably have the ghoul, to be honest. Oh, made a small misplay there. I could have gone... Well, actually, no, it turned out okay. Ooh, there's the castle. That's good. 
It turned out okay because the, the item that dropped was a sword, so I could kill these things for free. But I could have otherwise jumped on the gold on the left side, then attacked it myself, which means it would have gained me more skulls. But it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for the gold coins here because I want to go into the castle because the castle unlocks one of the characters. This is a, an, essentially an extra little challenge that you have to go through. Um, but you unlock a character at the end of it, so we can use that one next time or the time after or whatever. Let's go that. Do a bunch of damage. Take damage from that thing. Ooh, an oil lamp. Immune to blindness. I've never actually picked that up because it always seems a bit eh to me, but sure. I'll take that. And I'll have the shield. We're gonna take some poison and get attacked by that thing, but so be it. Uh, I think we're gonna start building up our shield hard. Ooh, I do have quite a bit of gold. Could go for the merchant. Yeah, we'll do that instead. What have you got? Electric Axe. Haven't seen that one yet. When you use your power, you inflict two dam damages to all visible enemies and receive... Oh, I've received free blindness. But I'm immune to blindness. There's also another blue horn. We're starting a level. You get more HP again. You get greed times two after being attacked by an enemy. Ah, these are all pretty good. I kind of want to pick these all up, especially because this is... Uh, well, this is actually... Kinda, it, it sounds really cool, but you don't. we don't use our ability that often. So it's just, instead of doing two damage, it's four damage now. Sure, why not? We have the money. Uh, Blue Horn, probably not necessary, to be honest. I'm not even going to buy it. Um, greed times two after being attacked by an enemy. So greed, it, it gives me two extra gold when you pick up a gold card. So for two turns, if, if you pick up a gold card, you get some extra money. Um, I would have to pick up six extra gold cards after being attacked by an enemy. Which, um, to, to make this even worth it, but sure. It doesn't really matter. Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to have to take the five damage here. Ah, there's some gold right there. Would you look at that? And some more right there. Uh, yep. Alright, so I think we jump on the sword. That actually takes us less damage. And again, I don't really want to spend my skull. So. Shield. Oof. We're actually going to take quite a bit of damage. Here. Painful, but there's lots of shields on the way. Hopefully. Ooh, this thing is going to suck. Uh, okay, so I could pick up the shield here, but I actually legitimately don't want to. Because I don't want to take four... This is going to do eight damage to me. So, okay, think about this, right? We pick up the shield. I gain four. I then take eight from this thing. Because four damage and then four poison. So it's a net loss of four. If I attack this thing, then that one dies straight up. Drops an item, which could be really good as well. Uh, but I take six, so it's actually a, yeah, it's a net loss of six. Whether that one is uh, going this way and then that is four, and then this thing would also be hurt as well. Huh? Yeah, I think uh, th the thing is that if I attack this and this one, this one dies. This, the item that drops here could be better than the two extra health I would gain from going this path. But I'm still gonna go this path. Either way, it probably won't matter. But over stealth, it doesn't really matter. There you go. New character unlocked. You can now choose this character for your next game. The Black Knight. This mysterious Black Knight inspires both rage and fear. They know how to use strength and cunning to attack their enemies. So we got a new character. Very cool. Uh, oof. We are about to take seven. We're going to get six from the shield. I could also take two from the poison, then just grab that shield there. So I think I'm more interested. We are taking quite a bit of poison damage. But everything straight up right there. Take a lot more damage. Oof. Are we gonna survive this run? Got a shield right there. Oh, we are, but only just. I could have also done this. Uh, I think this is fine. Two health. Oof, oof. Uh, good thing we're gonna gain quite a bit of health. Did I buy the other blue horn? No, I, and I probably should have in the end. This reveals the distance left before the end of the current level. Uh, this gives us times two stealth when starting a level. Which isn't terrible. And all healing potions, cards, cure you of blindness. We already have immunity to blindness and there's no healing cards or potion cards because we've already changed those with swords. Um, so stealth when starting a level or being able to see... Stealth. Do we have any other reason to be stealth? We can stealth when we attack an enemy. I don't think we get any bonus from being stealth right now. But... Honestly, it... This is, is probably kind of eh, but I kind of wanted to see it because I haven't used this one yet. Let's just get the stealth one, though. The Guardian. A demonic smell that you know well invades your nostrils. The Guardian of the Fold appears. Beware. 
He seems particularly powerful. And finally we meet. Will you only get to me? Yes, I reckon I will. Okay. Um, so yeah, we did actually heal almost fully from that, so it's all, it's all good. I kind of want to grab the shield, but our ability is actually a little bit better as well. Let's just go... Okay, knowing all that... I get shield, I have to then still attack something. Which will probably be this one. So I lose two. I could just... There's no point in doing that. Just do damage. I mean, there is a point. It's, it gets my score higher. But this thing kills that one, so I don't really have to worry. I could also just grab the gold and then go for shield instead. But this might drop another sword. Eh, it didn't. That's okay. Um... To do a lot of damage to everything else as well, so we don't take as much damage now. I think I'm still gonna go for the shield. Protection gives me two, but we're gonna take seven. I'd rather just do some damage to something else. Do I care about the six gold or the sword? I think I'd probably rather get the sword. Pull that thing off in front of me. Then we've got six damage right there. Get some mana. I think. I don't want to go take four poison damage, so we're going to go this way and take four from this guy. We're immune to blindness. Oh, we're still stealthed anyway. So I could take one more damage, but I get a uh, an enemy that dies, which could give me a good reward. Which I think I'll uh, I want to test that. Uh, that was kind of shit. This is better, so rip. Rip me, I suppose. Um, two damage is better than four damage, so we'll take this poison. Unfortunately, we have to now choose between getting my mana up and taking six or just straight up doing seven for more skulls i think i'll get my ability oof we're not doing so hot this would actually gain me one because i uh i could also actually just do my ability now kills both of them yeah let's play it safe ah, more gold i don't want gold Go out of here. Need shield. Oof. Alright, so this is again skulls, which we don't really want to spend, but as long as you have stealth, gives minus one to enemy cards, does not apply to bosses. When you attack an enemy, you get greed times two and protection times two. That's pretty decent. We do want to attack enemies because we already have items that help me from attacking. Or the gold now, which is suck. It is suck. This gives me... If I spend, again, skulls, I get less stuff, but... Golden Hammer is pretty good. Pick that up. Uh, this mitigates the most, so we'll do that. Are we gonna survive? Oh boy. 15, yeah, we're good. Oh, this, uh, this might be my closest run so far. Ooh, the Poison Scythe. All poison cards also inflict one damage to all visible enemies. Adds one protection card for each corrupted item in your inventory, which we have none of. And Book of Mana increase the chance of the potion. I, I think I'll take this poison. I don't really have any reason to step on poison, but... Ooh, a cursed chest. I better not die from this. Actually, I think this is going to force me to pick a, a, a corrupted item. While stepping over the trunk of a fallen tree, your foot hits something hard. It is a chest from which emanates a strange and disturbing glow. Let's hope it is not cursed. It's definitely cursed. <laughs> All gold coin cards inflict one damage to you. Increase the chance that the enemy's loot is another enemy card. Oof. Or a flask of blood. Removes two potion cards. And we have no potion cards. I'll take that one. There are no potion cards. Although maybe it could actually be possible that it removes the potion cards that have turned into swords. Like they still technically are potion cards, I guess. I'm not sure. Demonic Wrath. The demon you have managed to defeat gets up painfully. You feel immense anger shiver through your bones. You force me to go to the next level. Die! Alright. Calm down. Um, well, I really want to go here so I can grab the shield, but then I just take damage. I may as well kill it and hope for better shields. I don't care enough about that one. Let's so go this way. See, here again, I get to pick up so many enemies, Jesus. This guy's gonna do poison as well. This is 10 damage. That's not worth take this instead. Thank fuck for all that. Uh, I'll let this guy attack me for protection, because that's free armor, so it's a, um, a, 
bonus of uh, a two, essentially, that we gain from that. A net gain of two. We'll fuck this guy up. And then the shield means I take one damage. If I do the sword, I still take two. But I have to attack it myself. Take less. Oh, we've got stealth. Right, I forgot about that. That's good, because we are really not doing so hot here. This might be my worst or closest run yet, but... Ability ready. That's nice. I may have to use that in a second. Uh, if I kill this thing, I gain stealth. But that doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form, so I don't know why I'm even considering it. Oh, I got an achievement. What's that? Save 100 gold coins during a game. Nice. I haven't got that one yet. I was actually talking about, when I played this last time, about how that should be pretty easy to get. And here we are. Uh, poison is 3 damage, Orc takes 7 damage. I could also do this first and then attack it, but I don't know why the hell I would, to be honest, so let's not. Let's gain shield. Uh, huh. Yeah, no, this is better. Go here. You know what? I'm gonna use my ability. Now we're pretty much in the clear, I think, for the rest of the, rest of the match. I could gain the mana and mana again. I'll take two damage. I think that's okay. Magic wand. Golden axe. When you attack an enemy, you earn four gold coins. You have to attack five enemies for that to be a, a profit. There's actually another um, achievement for gaining 200 gold coins. But I don't think I've got enough time to get that because we're on the final level right now. This is useless. Mana point? Uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to get enough anyway, so I may as well just buy these items. It's not a merchant chest. I guess I should have kept my money for that. Right, we're definitely going to go that way. Book of Poison. No, Strawberry. You have 1 HP when you receive a new status. You know what? That's not terrible. All poison cards also inflict free damage to the nearby enemies. Yeah, let's just take that one and actually leave it. Shield! Shield! Kill that thing. Oh, get some mana, which is useless. There's the final boss. Do some extra damage to him for no reason, why not? Done! We unlock the golden tickets. That's two merchant chest cards and all future levels. Cool. So there you go. Rank 109. That's my f that's my worst score so far out of all the... I've, I've played with this character and this ability four times now, I think. And I, this is the lowest. I actually get. I think I got worse every single time I played. It's ridiculous. I think the first score I got was 66 out of the whole world, apparently. Uh, then the next one was like 100 and something, and then the second one was 100 and something, even like higher. And now I'm 194. I'm getting worse. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Only 98 on the final level. Yeah, that definitely, uh, that definitely hurt. Uh, to be fair, that was the toughest, um, toughest run I've had. But that's okay. 8%. Yeah, the first time I did it, I got 9%. I actually, I, I had an account before this one. And then I, like I said, I started recording. Did 17% on this one. And then I decided to restart again because of this fucking footage was gone. Uh, anyway, we also only got one achievement. Whereas the other ones, I got like five. So, big rip. Um, but yeah, we unlocked a new character. So maybe I'll try that one next time. Should be fun. We've also unlocked some new game modes. We now have challenges and expert available. Expert is just like way more difficult. Enemies can attack in several directions at once, removes one new card in each level, adds two poison cards in each level. Enemies have a small chance of leaving a poison or broken shield card after attacking and the item appearance rate is, I guess, lower or shittier than it was. And then you have the challenges, which are like predetermined things, which are pretty cool. Um, at least I assume so. I haven't actually done this yet, <laughs> so. We'll find out what we do next time though. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.